And the reason that I bring this up now is because we are in a religious political time where I just am seeing so much coming to light that as we speak forth the truth, there is pushback, but it needs to come forth in this time when these um, globalists are really pulling the strings and so many people are blinded, blinded to the scriptures, blinded to historical truth. And um, they, they're, they're led by their heartstrings, but it's not actually fact. Um, one of those things, again, that people have been led for so many years is thinking that the Ashkenazi are, in fact, descendants of Shem. And we've discovered that the Ashkenazi are, in fact, the synagogue of Satan. They're the descendants of Japheth. They're Turkic Mongols from the Khazarian region that converted to Judaism in the 6th and 7th century. These are the things that we've discovered over the past few months. Um, those teachings came across in exposing the rotting stick of Israel and the synagogue of Satan that are in our archives. Rabbi Herbert Bloom adds that the Jew, that the slave trade was one of the most important Jewish activities. One of the most important Ashkenazi Jewish activities. In 1694, Jews owned 9,000 regal African nomadic Jews from the house of Judah. In 1694, they owned 9,000 enslaved from the house of Judah. Jewish slaving is confirmed in the Jewish encyclopedia. But you start talking about it, again, you're digging into historical truth, not sacred history. So why does the American black history exist solely for the past 400 years, beginning in the 17th century? And all you hear about is, well, the transatlantic slave trade. But there's so much more than the transatlantic slave trade. You've got to go further back. You had Islamic trappers that worked with the indigenous black Africans to trap the regal Negro house of Judah. And then you had them sell them to the Ashkenazi ship merchants, along with many Portuguese and British Ashkenazi. If King David was an Ashkenazi, white Jew with a reddish complexion, he would have been described as Laban, an albino, but he wasn't. So King David looked more like Malcolm X than he did King Henry VIII, right? <laughs> You're of King David's tribe. Don't convert to the tribe that enslaved you and then sold you to Ashkenazi. Ship merchants. More black Negroes have been lost to Islam in the 20th century than any other believing, Bible-believing group. It's outrageous. Because they don't want you to know who you really are and what tribe you're from. But you're not from Muhammad's tribe. Never were. Never were. You are a regal Negro class from the royal house of Judah. 